Anyway, here's Sean in Modesto as we, uh, I got to get a phone call in here, folks, or I'm going to get accused of things. Sean, I'm glad you waited. I really appreciate your patience. Hello. Hi, uh, Maggie Ditto's Rush. It's a great honor to be on the program. Thank you uh, very much, sir. I can tell. I can hear the excitement in your voice. Yeah, well, I just wanted to call out this rhino, Donald Trump, who has pulled the wool over the eyes of this great Republican Party. Go ahead. Well, just three short years ago, in 2012, Mitt Romney was running against Obama. And during the debate... Mitt Romney suggested illegal immigrants should self-deport. Now, did Donald Trump say, no, Mitt Romney's too weak on immigration? He's soft on immigration? No. He said that Mitt Romney and the entire Republican Party were mean-spirited on immigration. Mm -hmm. And he has yet to explain that statement. Why? Well, I don't know. Maybe he is explaining it by changing his mind on it and and, uh, acting as he is. Can he explain why? Can he explain why he's changed his mind? Well, may, if somebody asks him... I mean, has something changed in the last three years? I don't know. I, I, there are a lot of people that are pointing this stuff about him. There are a lot... Of, I mean, I've, you can find columnists, uh, pundits, commentators that are pointing out that they think Trump is actually... I've heard it said that Trump is actually working for Hillary to divide the Republican vote, to destroy the Republican banner, continue to to wreak havoc on the Republican brand. I've heard all of this. Well, I I, I can make the argument for that, but I want to focus on his, his actual record so far. Now, to this day, he says he he hates Obamacare, but he doesn't say why. It's because it doesn't go far enough for him. He wants single payer health care. All right. Hang on. I got to take a break here. And if you can hang on to the break, we will continue when we get back. Can you do that? Uh, I will do so. This I, I, I kind of knew you would. Yeah, I didn't have any doubt about that. And we're back with, uh, with, uh, with Sean in Modesto, California, who wants to uh, treat us to evidence of Donald Trump's duplicity or uh, fakery or uh, hypocrisy or what have you. So you you left off with he used to be, at least according to his statement, a supporter of Obamacare and more that he wanted single payer. He didn't support Obamacare. He didn't think it go far enough. Okay. And what are some of the other things? Because I've heard others go through this list. Of uh, of the, all the money in uh, Democrats he's given to in New York, such as Schumer uh, and Hillary, and he's always said to that, "Well, it's where I live. You know, I mean, it's protection money, and I mean, I got to contribute to everybody where I live." Yeah, well, yeah, a lot of people are cowards like that. Uh, cowards, okay, okay, yeah, but uh, and so, you, do you think I'm... it's not possible that Trump has? Shall we say grown? Now, mostly when, when we when this in our culture, when we say people have grown, it means they're becoming liberal. Trump appears to be evolving away from, quote unquote, liberal issues to more centrist or conservative positions. But that would not be growth. So you, you don't think he's actually His genuine. Timing is quite convenient. Timing is quite good. So you don't think he's genuine here? You think he is fooling everybody and getting away with it? Oh, I think he was for a lot of things before he was against them, but I guess that's allowed in the Republican Party now. <laughs> what are you, you can a Democrat? Sean. You can have one or two issues. One or two issues. Sean, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A laundry I've been under a popular mis. Time. Sean, wait a second. Do not be contentious. You have no reason to be yet. I'm sorry, I'm just... I was under the impression that you were a Republican trying to save the party. You actually are a liberal Democrat uh, uh, trying to use Trump as an example of how duplicitous or rotten all Republicans are. No, no, I am not. I have... Listen, I am 23 years old. In 2008, Obama was running for president. On my first day of my junior year, a kid just two rows in front of me, turned to the one in front of me and said, did you know that Barack Obama plays basketball? And then I immediately jumped in and said, did you know that John McCain was in a North Vietnamese prison camp for five years where he had that both of his arms broken and then refused to reset so he can't even lift his arms above his shoulders now? I mean, I do not like a lot of John McCain's policy positions. 
But okay. you try and put wait, a wait, liberal wait, wait, Democrat wait, wait. like Obama in, I wait a minute. Fight. Wait, wait. I don't understand. I mean, all that's true. Obama does play basketball kind of poorly. And McCain was a prisoner of war. What's that got to do with Trump now? What's it got to do with Trump? Trump is a phony. Oh, he is a okay. phony. Well, if he is, he's going to be exposed. Phonies will be with as much media time as Trump is getting, as much media and by as much desire as there is by a lot of people to expose him as a phony. It'll happen if he is. A lot of people I know, I love, know, and respect. They they turn a blind eye to every every sin, every piccadillo, every. Thing Donald Trump has ever done. Oh come on, grow up! He's that's what we always said about Bill Clinton. Oil. We that's Bill. our constant refrain complaint about Clinton, about Obama. You can't tell people that love these guys the truth about. Make the difference between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Makes no difference between Trump and what? You, what, what there is the, not a lick of difference. Oh, there is no difference. No, they are exactly the same in my book. There is a big difference. There's a big, big difference. Trump is richer. Yes, he's rich. Richer. He's His richer. He's got a lot more money than Hillary. He's really rich. Who, to this day, supports massive tax increases on job creators? Who, to this day, supports massive tax increases on job creators? Uh, Hillary Clinton does. Every Democrat walking does. Yeah, like I say, there's no, not a lick of difference. Also, you're saying Trump supports tax increases on job creators. Yes. No, I didn't know that. He he supported twenty percent increases on people in the top marginal rates. Trump did. That's a popular yeah. political position to hold. Everybody supports taxing the rich, including the rich. Look at Warren Buffett and and, and stupid Gates. These clowns are out there promising to give everything away to malaria research or whatever the hell it is. This is how the rich inoculate themselves from the barbarians at the gate trying to take their money. It's a standard operating procedure tactic. In your rich, look at the Kennedys. The biggest complainers about rich people were the Kennedys. Every rich person in public life whines and moans about the rich and thinks the rich aren't doing their share. It's how they keep the barbarians away from their houses. It's a standard operating technique. It's, it's, well, you haven't persuaded me yet, but I'm just going to tell you here, Sean, that if what you say is true, and if Trump is running a giant scam, and if the real Trump is much closer to a liberal or progressive than the way he's sounding, it will end up being exposed. I'll tell you why. He's got too much media. If Trump is lying, if Trump's making it all up, he's going to have to have a great memory to remember all these lies that he's told all these places. It's very, very difficult to carry off a giant scam like this when you, as the scammer, are the focus of all this media attention. Because at some point you slip up. At some point you trip up. Uh... Well, yeah, of course, unless you're Bill Clinton. And then when you trip up, they marvel at how cleverly you got out of it. Um, it's, it's fun to watch. But anyway, you keep, keep trying to alert people to this, Sean. Keep trying to save the Republican Party from making this horrible mistake. Because uh, there are people out there that will really uh, appreciate you.